All right, guys, welcome to another video. And in the last video, we put in a BNW turnover gooseneck ball. And that was in preparation for our fifth wheel hitch adapter. All right, and this is the one we chose to go with. It's the Blue Ox uh, BXR 2100. It is rated for, I think, tw well, 21,000 pounds pulling, I think about five to 7,000 pounds tongue weight. So, and our trailer is max uh, gross vehicle weight rating is 12,000, uh, you know, uh, 300 pounds or so. Uh, so it's gonna be well under the tow rating and the tongue weight is probably gonna be somewhere between 2,000 and 2,500 pounds. So on both aspects, it's almost about half its actual capacity. But we're gonna put this thing in, show you how to install it, and then we're gonna go over why I chose the BMW Gooseneck Turnover Ball and the Blue Ox BXR 2100. And there's some specific reasons for it. Um, and we'll go over that later. Let's get this sucker in now. All right, first things first, there's a couple little pins you gotta pull out of there. And then you just drop this down this part right over your 5 16 or two and 5 16 uh, gooseneck ball. And I have to drop this down a bit because I have the rubber mat. So you got to kind of account for that. All right, one. Then it just co comes with a couple of pins you gotta throw in there. And then once you got that on, we can tighten this thing up. You just wanna make sure this is straight. All right, and this is a 5 16 bolt. And all you're gonna do is uh, get a torque wrench and we're gonna torque this down to 45 foot pounds of torque. All right, that's 45 pounds. And that basically just draws, sucks this down onto the, the gooseneck ball so it doesn't wiggle, jiggle, make a mess noise. All right, next is this little uh, set screw that basically just kind of holds it in place so it doesn't jiggle. And this is a square head and which, I don't know why, but you know, they made it so it takes a 19 millimeter uh, 12 point that fits on there. So, and this got to be torqued down to 100 foot-pounds of torque. And also, I'll list this t torque wrench and any other tools I use in the description area below. All right, that's 100 foot-pounds. And then, it's got a jam nut. You just got to do hand tight. And then that takes a 15 16 deep well socket, and that is 120 foot pounds of torque. There we go. Like I said, I'll list uh, the tools and stuff that I'm using, that torque wrench, and everything else in the description area below this video. And uh, we'll get next uh, putting on the head. All right, so the handle goes to the driver's side and wiggle this in. There you go. Just slide right in, does it? And we got three settings. All right. Just that last one, the thing's heavy, so it takes a little bit. And we put the set pin in. And see, now it's wobbly. It's got this little extra thing to just brace it so it doesn't wobble around. We'll just take these little nuts off. Tighten these down first. All right, so these are 11 16 uh, socket, and on the back side here is a 5 8 open box wrench. And these go to 45 foot pounds of torque.
There we go. And then we just put these jam nuts on and those go to 40, torque those down to 45 foot pounds as well. And it also comes with a Teflon disc that goes on your kingpin so you don't have to worry about grease or nothing like that. You know, no mess. All right, guys, that was pretty simple. You know, you just need a torque wrench and a couple of sockets. But just to actuate this thing, it uh, just pull this pin out. And then, turn, and then just turn it. And that holds it in. And then the kingpin just slides directly into there. And that's one of the kind of the reasons why I chose this one and uh, to actuate it you just pull that back down the pin goes in you lock this in place make sure you put that on so it doesn't come out doesn't take up well here all right guys so we are gonna go over the reasons why I chose the B&W turnover hitch and the Blue Ox BXR 2100 because well, there's two things. Well, you know, we're not pulling 30,000, 25,000, you know, 30,000 pound fifth wheels. So we don't need a BMW uh, companion hitch that's rated for 30,000 pounds. This thing, everything here, this is rated for at least double what we're towing. That's pretty safe. Anyway, so we're going to talk over the gooseneck. The reason I wanted a gooseneck instead of just a traditional fifth wheel hitch that goes in here, because I can take this thing out and use the bed. Um, we're not just towing a fifth wheel all the time. And I go fishing and I put a lot of fishing gear in here, gear in here. And I think with this, it's gonna save me a lot of room and I can actually still put a cooler in here and you know, rods and reels and all that stuff and tackle. I can use, it's still usable space and uh, it doesn't take up that much room. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I decided to go with this and uh, with a fifth wheel adapter and the gooseneck. But I, I kind of like the, the Kurt turnover ball because it's, it, it's the same as the, Ford standard uh, hitch that comes that you can get from factory and uh, but this one has the you know the little lever you have to pull to to pull the ball out so you got to pull that latch it up and then you can come pull the ball out which I never plan on taking the ball out. It's, that's it's stay and put never going to use it probably but you never know the options there so but I got this especially too because you don't have to chuck the hitch when you after you put it in and, and you lock it in you don't give a tug test because it completely surrounds the kingpin it it's solid all the way around it and the pin in here just keeps it from coming up which you have you know 20 percent of the tongue weight of that trailer pushing down on it so hardly ever you're going to get that much force coming up but you know it's a, it seems pretty solid it's fairly new it's got these rubber bushings so that when you are moving around here it's got rubber there it's uh will flex a little bit but hopefully not rattle too much and we're going to do some tests too to see how it works and uh you know i haven't seen a lot of, i actually i try to look up videos on this and there's not very much out there so there'll be more to come so hit that subscribe button notification bell all that fancy jazz uh, so that you'll know when our videos come out and give us the video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it But we'll make some more videos about the blue ox BXR 2100 um, And how it works and you guys can see how it tows. We're gonna be towing a You know up to a 12,000 pound RV here soon. Here's the two other main reasons why I chose these two is the weight savings um, the Kurt the BMW turnover hitch is probably about 30 pounds lighter than the Kurt hitch. And the hitch right here, um, considerably lighter too. It's not that heavy. I think altogether it may be 100 pounds. But you can take them apart and they're not too heavy to tote around by yourself. That's why one of the things is I can take it out and put it back in pretty easily without you know, pulling a muscle or something. So that was one of the reasons, the weight savings. Uh, with, with these two by themselves, it's still, I think, 80 to 100 pounds lighter than a BMW companion hitch. Every little bit counts, especially because this is an F-250. I only have a little over 3,000 pounds of payload capacity. And 
well, if I got about 1,900 to 2,000 pounds of hitch capacity, that means I only have, and then maybe about a little over 200 pounds between the Blue Ox and the BMW turnover ball, then that say, leaves me, you know, about a little over 800 pounds for me, uh, my wife, a couple of dogs, and a little bit of gear. So you got to factor that in, because like if I was pushing a diesel, I, I would be over payload. So this is the gas uh, 7.3 liter Godzilla. So it keeps a higher payload. So we're able to do this, especially like if you're running a diesel and you ran like a companion hitch and you're having a, you know, 35 plus foot fifth wheel, then you're definitely going to probably be over payload and your gross vehicle rate rating once you put that hitch weight down, especially loaded hitch weight. But anyway, that is what we got going on here today. And we have a lot more adventures coming. Uh, if you like this, give this video a big thumbs up. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming along with us. And until we see you next time, guys, see you later.